Hi and welcome to video 9 on this the video series on integration required in unit 4 topic 1 of specialist maths. In this video I'm going to look at some further examples of using trig identities and substitutions to help us integrate trig functions. So in example 2, and you can already see example 3, so if you want to pause it and have a try then you're welcome to. Um, but in example 2 I've got the integral of tan squared 2x dx. And I'm going to use this substitution here, which is just one of our Pythagorean identities, to help us do this. Because I know that my table of integrals or my formula sheet has an integral available for me for sec squared x, but not for tan squared x. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to recognize that tan squared 2x is equal to sec squared 2x minus 1 with respect to x. And this can be written as, and you don't have to do this step, but I'll separate it, sec squared 2x dx minus 1 dx. And of course, sec squared 2x goes to tan 2x. When I integrate that, I have to divide by the derivative of the inside, which is 2, and then minus x, because that's the integral of 1, and plus c, and there's my final answer. So that's a fairly easy question. Um, for you to operate with as long as you make the appropriate substitution at the beginning. In example 3 I've got another tip there um, which will help you and this is the multiple angle rule or the double angle formula for sine and it can help us on occasions. So in example 3 it's recognition that if I've got that well this is actually equal to a half sine 2 times 5x dx. So we just double that angle on the inside, but we have to have a half because of this 2. So just be careful we don't forget the half. And when we to get that, we get a half cos 10x over 10, divided by the derivative of the inside, and add c. And of course, we can clean this up a little bit, and we should. That becomes cos 10x over 20 plus c, and that's really good enough representation. Okay, so that's example three and the use of a double angle formula. Our last example is an example where we're using um, a definite integral or we're calculating a definite integral. So if you are to calculate the definite integral of sine squared 3x times cos squared 3x, well, there's a few ways we can do this. First of all, you might recognize that sine and cos squared can be manipulated into variants of cos um, 2x, which we could do. Um, but what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to write this down as the integral between pi on 4 and 0 of sine 3x cos 3x squared. And then I'm going to go back to this sine of 2a equals 2 sine a cos a. And I'm going to use that here. So it gives me the integral between pi on 4 and 0 of a half sine 6x squared. Or actually, I should leave the squared on the outside, so it applies to the half dx. And that means I can bring a quarter out the front. The integral of pi on 4, 0 of sine squared 6x dx. And of course, if I go back up to one of my tips from earlier, sine squared this one here is a half 1 minus cos 2a so sine squared a is a half of 1 minus cos 2a sine squared a a half 1 minus cos 2a this is the use of my double angle formula for cos and so I get a quarter pi on 4 0 of a half 1 minus cos, now 2a again, so I'm going to write this as 12x dx. That gives me 1 over 8, which will between pi and 4 and 0 of 1 minus cos 12x dx. And now I can operate this as well. So I get 1 8 square brackets x minus sine 12x over 12 between pi on 4 and 0 and that's equal to 1 8 pi on 4 
minus sine of 12 times pi and 4 is sine of 3 pi over 12. I don't need these square brackets anymore. Double bracket there. And then I have 0 minus sine of 0 over 12. And let's create a little bit more space here. This is equal to 1 eighth of, this is pi on 4. Sine of 3 pi um, is actually 0. So sine of pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, 0, 0. And minus from that, 0 minus 0. So we get that. And so we end up with pi on 32. And just as a reminder, that we can operate this in our calculators as well. So just to remind you how we do this, if we flick across to our calculator screen here, and we're going to run matrix. Inside run matrix, we have a math window, and inside there, we should have an integral. Integral there between um, pi on two, so I just drop in a little fraction bar there, shift pi over, uh, sorry, pi on 4, wasn't it? And then that's uh, 0 there. And then I just make sure that we've got our function right. So if I go back up here, the original function was sine 3x, sine squared 3x, cos squared 3x. So, oh, bracket sine use the sign button on here, sine 3x, close brackets, squared, times, cos, I need to change that to, um, cos 3x, Close brackets, bracket, oh, close brackets. Uh, I haven't got bracket around the cos here. Close brackets squared as well, and then execute that. I get pi on 32, uh, which I'm quite happy with because that is the answer I've got here. So there we have it. Uh, three extra examples of using trig identities and trick substitutions to help us simplify problems have a work through the exercise and ask relevant questions because there are a, a whole different range of types of questions you could get all the best